hi everyone welcome to my channel if you're just coming across my video for the first time i'm erica chop by my name on today's video we'll be preparing our father stew so for this recipe you'll be needing our tomato bell pepper long pepper onions and yellow habanero pepper next to be going in next to be needing our iru bay leaf onions and seasoning cube for this recipe for our protein we'll be needing our cow skin uh, snails and cow tribes intestine still on the protein we'll be needing our boiled egg lastly we'll be using um our scent leaf for this recipe in a heated pan in a heated pan you go in with your palm oil first and let it um bleach a bit i allowed my palm oil to bleach a bit before going in with my granite oil so for this recipe i like to have a mixture of granite oil and palm oil at the same time so as to give it the the amazing flavor that um it deserves so while i do that i let it heat up a bit i let the oil bleach a bit next i'll be going in with my meat so these are my um uh, assorted intestine i'll just fry it a bit in the oil in the bleached oil and let it fry a bit so i am going to fry um my meat and let it get golden brown before taking it off the heat so now that i'm done putting my meat in the pot i'll just stir it stir it and let it sit uh, in the oil for say few minutes then i'll take it off the heat while it's already why it's fried already so at this point i am done frying my meat and i'm scooping them out you could see how um i made it it's not too dry and um it's just there it's not too dry because we don't really need it to be too dry because we we'll still add it back to the pot so now i'm done scooping my meat out next i'll go in with um next i'll go in with my onion yes it's best you fry your onion a bit to get out the flavor in it so i'll be going in with my onion at this point while i do that i stir it and let it fry a bit so i'll next i'll be going in with my um locust beans yes now that i'll be going in with my locust beans that's my locust beans i'll go in with my locust beans and let it fry a bit with my onion yes also i like to add bay leaf while doing this to get the flavor out of it yes because bay leaf they said is very medicinal so i like to incorporate it um into my this thing into my food so right now i just remember that i did scoop out all the meat i just saw some so i had to take that out so uh while our onions is fried next we'll go in with our pepper mix yes this pepper mix comprises of the onion pepper and the bell pepper green pepper that we used earlier so i'll just pour it in the pot and um fry it so while i i blended this i had to make um it is best you blend it roughly you see i roughly blended it so that you could get um a little bit of of um of roughness in it so i blended it roughly so now i'll just put it in my pot and let it fry if at this point you've not subscribed please do well to subscribe turn on the post notification bell to be notified whenever i post a new video like my video share and comment so at this point my tomato has been frying for a while so next i would like to go in with my seasoning cubes yes i like to go in with my seasoning cube at this point just to let everything um cook together yes so they will cooperate into each other inside that pot so next i'll go in with my salt yes so i have to gauge my salt to be sure that is um it's not going to be much so i like to go in with my crayfish at this point so at this point i basically want to go in with everything i need because um my tomato has um, my pepper mix has fried a little and it's time to put in everything and just let it um cook together and marry themselves in there so what is of other sauce without egg we can't miss out this so i'm just putting my egg at this point 
so all the flavor can go into the egg and give you this awesome taste you can't miss you can in fact next i'll go in with my cow skin which is mama you can't miss out mama in father. why what is your father without mama <laughs> an egg so i'll just basically add all my proteins at this point i'll go in with all my proteins at this point and give it a very good stir so while i stir that um i'm going to cover the pot and let it cook for a short while then i'll show you what it looks like when it's um when it's cooked or when it's boiled so in here we don't have any water we are not using any water for this recipe so your meat stock you might not have need for it now see this check this beauty out it's time to go in with our vegetables so like i told you this is our finely chopped uh washed and chopped set leaf so i'll just go in at this point and at this point after stirring it our food is ready so check this beauty out this <laughs> this of other sauce you can't go wrong with this recipe it's so delicious and nice if you've never tried this style at home try it and thank me later so check this out this is looking awesome everything is just seated where it should sit yes so nicely you see how wow check this out all right i'll be pairing this with my rice and beans yes it is always sweeter when you pay it with